universal slide rail is not only ideal for shoring four-sided excavations, it can also be adapted for use in shoring long pipeline installation, particularly larger diameter pipe and extra long pipe. Multi-bay configuration utilizes unique parallel beams that use standard trench box spreaders or arches rather than I-beams for cross-trench support. Additionally, when external whaler beams and sacrificial members are utilized, the parallel beams can be removed, providing an unobstructive clearance for installing longer pipe or structures. There are two kinds of multi-bay systems. The first is a four-sided system, which uses corner posts and panels to enclose the ends of the multi-bay system. This is typically used for tank installation or other structures. The second type is a linear multi-bay system, which has open ends on the trench and does not use corner posts. This configuration is ideal for installing long pipelines, even over great distances. The open ends allow you to install pipe in the front bay while backfilling in the back bay, and then leapfrogging the system forward. In this manner, it is possible to reutilize a set number of slide rail components. The first step to installing either a four-sided or linear multi-bay configuration is to assemble the first parallel beam post assembly. The parallel beams incorporate into linear posts rather than corner posts which create the slide rail system bays. Beginning on the ground, slide a set of parallel beams into the inside face of two linear posts and secure with the twist lock pins set at least one foot above the bottom of the linear posts. Now, install spreader pipes onto one of the parallel beams using the top and bottom collars and pin in place. Next, lay the post and parallel beams on their sides facing each other. Block up the ends of the spreader pipes off the ground. With the excavator bucket, lift the post and beam and slide onto the spreader pipes and pin in place. To lift the post beam assembly, attach shackles to the upper ends of the parallel beams and lift from these points. For a linear multi-bay system, the post beam assembly can be laid into a pilot cut leaning against the back bank away from the excavator. Then begin by installing one panel in each of the outside slotted rails on the linear posts. When utilizing a four-sided multi-bay system, the first step is to complete three sides of the first bay similar to a four-sided pit configuration with three panels and two corner posts set up and level in the pilot cut. Position the ends of the panels the proper distance apart to receive the linear post spreader assembly. Slide the linear posts outside slotted rail over the T-tracks on the end of the eight-foot panels. Once again, make sure panel and posts are level and excavate and push the panels and the posts down about six inches at a time. When the excavation reaches eight feet in depth, install four foot stack sections on top of the eight foot panels if required and secure with stack brackets. Continue to excavate and push the system to a depth of 12 feet. For more depth, eight and four foot panels can be installed into the inside open face rails on the posts. Continue with the excavation pushing sequence until the final grade is reached. To add additional bays, dig another pilot hole as before and install 8-foot panels into the outside slotted rails of the linear posts and repeat the process as before. Repeat the dig and push sequence until the desired number of bays are installed. Slide rail has spanned the nation as more projects are being shielded with this innovative system. 